All right, looking at Apple this week, you can see that uh, we're kind of right in between two bigger levels here. And let's just simplify this chart down a little bit. And I'm assuming everybody here knows the APA trend follow methodologies. If you don't, please feel free to take a look at our website and familiarize yourself with those things. So what I want to call attention to is we are right in the middle of these two weekly levels. And the two weekly levels that I'm looking at here are the 112 and the 119. Okay, so those are the, the two levels that have my interest right now. And the reason why I think that they are so interesting is just because uh, looking at the daily chart, we've, we've seen some really big gap action. All right, look at this bad boy here. And again, this is just where the, the, the weekly levels are, just so that we know. All right, so we've seen this thing gap from the area of high up here on the, the daily chart, you know, retest of this high zone, and it gapped like all the way down to the demand zone, okay? And it just kissed that level to the T, absolutely amazing. And, and now it's kind of chopping around in the middle. And I think what's really important in all this is, is to realize that we are still in the middle of this zone. Uh, the trend is still to the upside, okay? And even though we got this big gap, it doesn't mean that it's going to go any further, okay? I think we could easily see maybe another retest of this weekly level to the downside and then back up again. So as far as the daily zones go, I'm looking at the you know, again, right around the 112 level, okay? That's where I like to see price truly find the bottom, all right? And we'll see how this goes this next week, but that's really what I'm looking for as far as the bottom goes. And over here on the smaller time frames, that 112 level is going to coincide really nice with this chocolate zone that we have here at 112.40 down to 110.95. And on the upside, you can see what the four hour, or excuse me, this is a 60 minute chart, what that 60 minute chart looks like. And you can see uh, all the times that uh, that chocolate zone has been retested. And if we uh, right click here on the chart or on this, uh, on this zone, we can look and see that this zone actually goes back to 11, nine of 2015. All right, so this is like a year old zone pretty much. All right, so just be aware of that and, and how these levels play over time. But I'm thinking that we can go a little bit lower before we come back up here and retest the high area. Looking at Twitter this week, and in the previous weeks, we've seen this really great move from supply down to demand. And I'm thinking that this thing is going to continue. Okay, because the overall trend direction, and, and real quick, uh, just to, to, to briefly talk about this level, uh, we're looking at the $24 level down to the 18. We're down in the 18 area right now, and I'm thinking we're going to be moving down into the bottom of 14, okay, uh, right around the, the $15 level here, okay, that nice little blue zone. That's what I'm looking to have happen overall. So as we move into the daily time frame, let's let's look at this thing. This move from high down to low has been done by a lot of institutional selling in my mind. Look at the big daily gaps here. We we've been talking about this on our swing uh, forecasts uh, over the past couple weeks, but look at how big this thing has been gapping. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm thinking that we're going to be going even lower. So where does that uh, $15 level put us here on the daily zones? Well, that $15 level, uh, if we're looking at the very bottom here on the daily chart, we're looking at 1424 down to the 1372 level down there. Okay. So I'm looking for a price to push down to that. You can see this chocolate level right here. It's been hit a few times. I think it's weak, therefore I think uh, both of these two levels are going to quickly uh, get terminated and we're going to see a retest down into the lows here on Twitter. Moving over into the 60 minute time frames, you can see what a big drop this thing has gone through. 
you know, and look at look at all that that quick wick coming into play. Boom, 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 boom. Like the institutions have absolutely hammered this thing. And uh, you can even see like in today's price action, really quickly to the upside and then drop it. You know, drop it like it's hot. It's It's been absolutely amazing. So we've broken this uh, chocolate zone here after it's held one, two, three, four, a bunch of times. And I'm thinking that we're just going to, we're weak to the downside and I'm going to continue to see the institutions push it down into the uh, $14 level. So that's what I'm looking for to have happen and uh, we will see if that doesn't take place over the next week.